Let's go. Lobby's up. It will be launching soon, I hope. Hello. Hello, hello. So the lobby's up, but they haven't launched yet. Yes. At least I'm punctual this time. <laughs> yeah. <True. laughs> they haven't begun yet, so that's good. Yeah. I think you may be the only viewer at the moment as well. But let's hope that spikes up. Only one left, one match left to between Aftermath and Zuni, so maybe people will come back to that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> also, it's really close, right? It's three to three. Yep. So, oh boy. So it's the deciding match between them. Do we have a much more interesting match to uh, guest? So, <laughs> what are you typing? Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> you can tag the real. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think it's AR12. AR12, I think it's a little stast, actually. Yeah. 
So he is playing for <laughs> nothing, I think, but because I think he can't even advance, unfortunately. Let's see. Group C. Second last place. Doesn't look great. But he has more wins than HJ, so let's see how it turns out. <laughs> Is this um, lose and win? Is this all uh, best of three? Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six matches. Um, all of already did. did yeah. yeah, so this play. is uh, uh, okay. last one. Seven to one. Oh boy. Yeah. It's very, very consistent. Uh, Playing these games, yeah. He wants to to get it over, over with. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a tough group. Lots of good players. So, Kong and Eric are the ones mm. who haven't lost yet, but still, the rest of the players. So a lot can happen. So, oh, maybe they wait. Are twelve lost two times? He lost to Erigur and uh, I'm not sure about the other one. Okay, I think they're live actually. Let's see. Yep, the game is live. I'm gonna open it and add the sims. Vikings yeah. versus Celts. <coughs> yeah, actually, interesting. Matchups. Yeah. So both uh, kind of infantry ships, but Celts, of course, with a superior siege. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. HJ has two back stones, actually, so he could even <laughs> could even uh, make good use of that. But uh, golds are a bit worse place too for golds for HJ here. Um, actually, a uh, quite open area around this base, so a huge wall needed to completely close it. And on the other side, this main goal is should be easier to secure, I think, because it's like sort of to the right downside of this TC. And there's a back stone, so if you tower it, maybe you'll always have access to the stone. I don't think we'll see any towers anyway, but yeah, I would say it's yeah, quite like... open on both sides, right? Uh, yeah, but I like Adabov's map uh, a little bit more. Yeah. Because uh, of the two golds are easily to, to secure. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, both those goals <clears throat> on the side should be okay to secure with a little bit of walling on the right hand side. And... I mean, if you want the left and right side of your base, then it's difficult to deny these goals. So you don't necessarily need a full wall to defend it, I think. Do you see the hill in, the, um, in front of HJ's base? Let's see, is it kind of close? right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a hill and a cliff, yeah. That's not uh, ideal. He needs to secure that, otherwise he's dead. But the cliff, cliff is right outside of castle range, right? Unless maybe an imperial. So it's not like you could put, yeah. put uh, but you can secure it, of course. With... And also the two forward goals for he, if he gets, Yeah, but if he gets con constant pressure of that hill, I think uh, it's not easy to hold. Pretty sure it would be a brush from other wolf by the way because his advance is already up. He built it before 16 pop. So maybe it's a uh, one style again, like mass militia into Gas Lynch. He's taking ten gold at least. No, he's mining gold. He's taking more. 
So either it's a very aggressive rush or even the bombs, but I think rush. Yeah, again, could be um, four, five, six angry housewives. Yeah, he's, he's making an angry housewife already. Housewives now. And he won't get housed in the introduction. How about HJ? Does he. He must have. He doesn't know what works. He sees it. Doesn't see it yet. There he sees it. And he sees his garrison, so he knows what to expect. I'm sure he'll put up by uh, barracks himself now very soon. And I think he even. Well, I think I saw him during Loom, but now he's not getting it. I'm not sure if the barracks is going up for HJ. And look at this woodland, he's already walled in his uh, back woodland. <laughs> so. Where is. Oh, there is Barris. Okay, they are exposed, but not too bad. And it's. Yeah. One. So four. Five, five angry houses. Uh, five, yeah. Just. Uh... Huanga Dwarf. No. What should we call him? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, indeed. So he's got some patrol in here. I don't know if he sees them. He must have seen them passing by, right? No, he did not. If he didn't, if to... why is the last guy just standing there? Yo, angry. Angry woman. Okay. Successfully idling a bit here. He won't reach the berries because they are actually already walled. But uh, these four villagers here are just running around in limbo, don't know what to do. They're going to gold. Mm, actually, <laughs> HJ could trap three of them. Yeah, one gate there and they're trapped. Yeah. But it doesn't <laughs> have a build to do that for the moment. Securing his reason does not, not really. Oh, even more village shots. Uh, seven village shot holes now. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna be. Oh, there's our range immediately, of course. So it's the range and um, wood upgrade, double attacks. He has four gold already. So HJ, but he's. Yeah, I stand on wood as well. He should be able to uh, produce archers to clean it and up without taking much damage. Yeah, exactly four tiles. So a gate there would be awesome, but he prioritized securing his gold villagers. And although he doesn't have any ranged units, so he can't really do much. What's his eco look like at the moment? It's not too far away from yeah, taking the No, no. <laughs> do, I mean, he even can do it with uh, one of the berry villagers, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, ah, the whoop is so cool. <laughs> but the uh, berry villagers were walled in, so you would have need to, uh, to delete the walls to block them. But he is forced to repair here, and uh, repairing costs wood, so that also impairs archer production. So, only. Well, he's producing from both ranges, HJ. And he's not too worried about staying in feudal. Uh, an extended field lighter because he knows that with the uh, 7 militia that's gonna delay Adol's uptime is uh, 22% now. But it's uh, I'm causing idle time for sure here. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's on the and he, he will successfully block one yes, at least. There's one kill. Uh, Maybe two. Two kills. Two kills. Two yeah. kills. Two. And the scout, I guess, goes down. That's very good value because HJ doesn't know too much about this base yet. Oh, we could even get the archers because they don't have fletching or anything. But the scout yeah, goes yeah. down. Kelts walking faster. So they both are losing the. Both are losing their scouts, but I think that hurts. Could be hurting a little more because 
No, they both have decent scouting intel on the enemy's resources. Hot Wolf is walling now. Blacksmith. Uh, stable going up, actually. Blacksmith stable. And then he will aim for a cast age. So that's the resources allow it. We run into GC fire now. Almost missing one. Keeping it left. And another villager. But that's sloppy. Uh, maybe he, yeah, he gets it in the end. He gets it. Yeah. And uh, but now he has no production whatsoever at all. He's idling TC for him to kick up. Yeah. But that's. Uh, I mean, that already gives uh, HJ the opportunity to create, keep creating builds and keep track for a bit. But he cleans up. Yeah, but with what costs, right? Yeah, he's very far away from picking up the gas station now, so if the... Well, what's it gonna be? Night Siege push or something? On the Celt, go forward. What is the villager of Adderwolf doing in the north? Uh, it's the one sneak villager, of course. He's going to the left side of HD and build some siege and monster. <laughs> or something. Probably. Could be. And it will work as long as HD doesn't do extreme casual. And it might work anyway because Vikings don't get redemption or anything like that. Right? And the really poor monks. I don't think it uh, atonement. Or is he from a. Well, at least block printing, but that's not relevant to me. <laughs> yeah, here yeah, it was a side base, uh, monster siege workshop. I was uh, going to say something like Wong style. And against Vikings! A uh, save that doesn't have redemption, that's actually uh, very good for all of because he can't, uh, HA can't convert to siege. <laughs> In for Adolf. Let's see the foundations here. Stone walls for HJ. Yeah. Maybe he has seen one game himself and has some idea of what might come. But they both have lost the scouts. And he's actually gonna wall exactly where. Uh... No, he's right on side. He won't see it. He doesn't see it. No. Oh, too bad. See if he can run away with the two archers. 33 to 35 builds now. HJ is still quite uh, far away from kicking up though. Missing 400 food. Now the wolf uh, probably has knights, so he can handle the archers now. He doesn't have the armor. Well, is coming. Yep. There it is. Market for HJ. Still no 300 food away from picking up. And he didn't scout the whole. Oh, he doesn't. Uh, know Do you that think he's he... fully walled now? No way. He, he must, must see that there's an uh, opening with that. He needs to check that out, yeah. yeah. Could be fatal if not. But now he will be at least uh, reaching gas stage soon, I think. Should have had maybe a few more farms and uh, to sustain it. These archers will die tonight because they can't get home. Yeah, he's sending one build to the woodline now. But I think he sends a villager now yeah, yeah. to check it. Yeah, so it. thank god. Yeah. <laughs> so that would have been still is uh, 12 13% cast age. It's gonna be tough to he needs to set some building foundation behind these houses, I think, for to stop the Mangalels and knights from pushing further. But 
like it's not really doing anything. Maybe even some house foundations, something next to the ranges. Stone gate, okay, but uh, okay, it keeps the knights out. That's uh, that's uh, worth the sacrifice of the villager there, but <laughs> still needs more people yeah. here. Nice dodging of the Mangalev shots, though, I have to say. Yeah. So, and everything he does is buying in time. It's now 60% cast left, but this is gonna be tough to. Withstand is also not producing spears. So now it's gating, the stone gating the left side of the TC, he's stone walling in his golds. So that could, of course, uh, stop the knights from reaching them, but still can't stop the Mangonels. And look at the HP, he might lose his castle HTC here. Third Mangonel coming in. Oh, if it goes down, it will. Oh man, you might need to repair a TC. Like six, seven, no, he will, eight, he will nine. Have to cast them. Yeah, well, it's close though. And it's actually... He might need to abandon this TC, actually. He's uh, going to be without a TC now, so he can't afford a new one, man. Oh. This is really, really bad. That's for a it's kind of GG. Yeah, it is, because... Uh, there's only one place he can take wood, and the Mango Nails can range that. He cannot place a new lumber camp either. He actually has to mine here. Yeah, we'll see the GG very soon. Even the knights can uh, take on the villagers here. And... Oh, boy. What is he doing? Did he get a. Uh... Oh, it was uh, Adolf's uh, monk, of course. Very optimistic if he thinks he can come back from that. Got this uh, swarm of ads down here trying to collect wood enough for a DC, man. <laughs> it's. Uh, I don't yeah, know his it, market so. got destroyed. So I don't, I don't understand how he's gonna. I mean, he's gonna, if he moves and relocates, he can do that, but the knights will still be able to catch. His villagers moving out now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? So, uh, yeah, and he brings, okay, and he brings pikes along. I mean, Alwolf is in, I was going to say he was on a 1TC push, but now he has 2, so he's also stabilizing his own economy. And the TC is added next to HJ Stone here. Stones. <laughs> Alright, credit for keeping playing. I don't really see how HJ comes back for this, but. Uh, but wow, great push from other wolf. Why did he garrison his pikemen? <laughs> Mystic. Panic mode. Yeah, it's definitely. It's also, it's uh, eight knights and four mangoes and four scorpions out now, so there's not really much left to. To counter and the mobs <laughs> and men of arms. Okay, he moved the builders out to the right hand side to connect to it. So, some pikeman conversions there, and myself will be proud. Such and GG. painful anal strategy, man. Oh this is God. the play that has gotten all the wolf back above uh, 1600. <laughs> it's been hanging out lately, I think. So, well executed. Nobody expects the seven angry housewives, you know. Very well played. KD, 39 to 12. Hmm. Eco lead for Adlo. <coughs> Much earlier cast age, that's the key here, I guess, to sustain the push and get the earlier cast age so you can't really counter. He 
Do you see also the moment between uh, going from feudal up to castle that he has virtually no military at that point? So if uh, HJ's archers would have been able to get in or uh, do some damage, that could uh, could have uh, changed the outcome a bit. It's one zero, and we'll move on to the next game as soon as it's up. This parallel worlds in the lobby, so that needs to needs to click the map again to make sure it's the right one. So what do you think will be okay? Shrublands is HA's home map, it looks like. Shrublands. I think that's the map with the uh, very lacking wood lines. Mm, indeed, yeah. I think they are launched. Moving on to Shrublands. Franks for HD is favorite and the Bulgarians for Red Wolf. Suspecting a similar style strategy from other wolf, maybe a Bulgari few, Bulgarians, yeah, yeah, maybe a few leash uh, fast man at arms rush or something, but we'll see. Angry housewives, and if he clicks feudal, he has already yeah. immediately the transgender upgrade. So, <laughs> so okay, but it's not as the the one with the woodland so far away. This is uh, Shrublands, so you actually have decent woodlands. I think that was Sahara or something. Yeah, on either side. So, mm. so it seems to be so a much more see... open map for other wolf, though. Than actually, even though it's open for wolf, it uh, looks a bit harder for other wolf to close and secure. HD has a good main goal in the back, that's fantastic. And other wolf should be able to secure his main goal as well, but it's uh, slightly more awkward. <coughs> Some scouting in down here. I think there's uh, extra food in the corners here, like the gallons. That's an extra hunt. And HJ actually didn't find this uh, two llamas on his side here. That uh, could hurt if uh, a wolf fights first, but it looks like he will uh, be getting there now. Actually, really far away. Yeah. That happens to sheep and that sort of resources now. Nowadays, I found it. Shrublands is pretty much Arabia with weird trees. Yeah, you're right, I guess. But there doesn't seem to be any elevation either. It's just plain flat. So, in that sense, it's different still. 
<laughs> weird trees. Yeah, but it is weird trees, this fucking acacia trees. But at least they're collected in a way that I don't think it's any typical holes. have the small tree mod they kind of look like broccoli yeah small brains <laughs> <laughs> oh it looks like hs boar was very far away as well that's a long door and he's even uh, the ring and the deer from far away but i'm sure he wants to go for a scouts opening so he needs the boot income and like you said before, HJ always has four on wood, and if you're gonna be able to afford the barracks and the stables and everything in time, you kind of need to uh, bring in this extra extra food to keep up having. <laughs> I love the panic houses <laughs> of Father Wolf. Oh shit, I'm, I'm almost housed. Yeah. Just place it anywhere. But uh, at least there's, uh, there's uh, space for a farm between behind here, so I approve. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah well. Hmm. It's even walling on the sides here now. Always walling. Why did he he destroy his mining camp just and? Was it? Oh, oh. I don't know if it. Uh, oh, look, he's going for stone. So he's changed his mind. He's going for the. I'm sure that it has to be men at arms and towers, right? Because the Bulgarians get the three men at arms anyway, and he's going up. And he has. Okay, maybe not men at arms because he's not mining any gold, but uh, he is putting up the barracks. And he will get uh, two men at arms yeah, for free anyway. I think this will be will be men at arms tower rush. So what does he know? He doesn't know shit about uh, HA space. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he hasn't scouted the HA. He doesn't know where he is. <laughs> Risky business. Uh, the same goes for HA actually. So. Maybe since he hasn't seen H.J. scout at all, he... Oh, man. Oh, but I see. He Can he see the builds? H.J. won't scout the builds. Oh. Yeah, he didn't take 10 gold. That's true. But he's still gonna be able to produce two men at arms, and maybe that's enough. Because the men at arms upgrade is free, so... And H.J.'s walls, they are not protected against the tower. Protected, protecting, and there seems to be a spot near the other wood line with HA as well, where he could place a tower and uh, reach some builds. Ford house. Panic house again. Huh? <laughs> and all the wolf is on gold. Well, but HA sees, HA sees this house. That's the problem. Now yeah. he knows. Yeah. He knows what's going on. He's smelling. <laughs> the sweaty... Armpits. Well, there's one thing about HJ, he knows. Uh, he has good game <laughs> sense. So he knows things before they happen <laughs> sometimes. It's very good game sense. A wolf doesn't know it's close, but he's uh, sneaking in the tower here. Should be able to reach the woodland, but there's only one vi villager that can build. <laughs> <laughs> two. Now it's two. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh... No, HJ doesn't the see men it. The arms are in. There's four men of arms now for our wolf. HJ housed. Look at the scores. Yeah, it's totally even. Uh, Villager count, pretty much the same. Villager count, a bit more for our wolf. His uh, men of arms are only idling around though. Spear. I don't know why HJ added the spear. He doesn't really know much about other fighter, but he probably maybe scouted to the barracks. The problem also is that transgender are really good against scouts. Uh, they're doing a 
cage drop, in my yeah, opinion. Even scopes are there even, and of course, even better against spear. So I have no idea why they chain yeah, yeah. against spear and why they are running towards the TC there. He's adding more scouts. Alwolf is still very, very open, so. But he's uh, prepared to quick walls, of course, but. But HJ adding an outpost on his other wall line now, just uh, in case other wolf drops the tower, he will be able to prevent it. He's okay. going out. Yeah, he's going forward with five builds, so he's got a counter tower, so do you think? <laughs> yeah, he he's, will. He's also stole himself. Scouts and towers. Oh, I like I like that he's going for the counter attack. I like it. Counter tower rush indeed. Look at these guys just marching forward, meeting a lion along the way. That's a very tanky lion. <laughs> Takes many hits, but now he can tower. Well, he knows where. He doesn't know where Alwolf Stone is. Ah, otherwise this would be the obvious first tower on Alwolf Stone. Yeah, he scouted. He scouted the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah he can go for gold, but uh, he needs to stop the stone for um, to prevent more towers. But of course, now the villagers will die, die to the towers and scouts, uh, either towers or scouts. So now it's beginning to look bad for other wolf here because he's not really denying too much in Two villagers base. down, will be three maybe. Yep. Yeah, three villages down. That's really good. And the right. tower will uh, for certainly take care, or scouts will certainly take care of the gold mining villagers because they they, they have no escape. <laughs> Actually, needs to be careful. This tower will not go up so easily. Which one? At home? Or... Yeah, at home, yeah. Alright, the wolf saves one gold miner, but still oh, no. loses one. Yeah, villager down for HA, okay. Uh, villager count. Still pretty much the same. 30 30 now, 8 8, 7 6. This is very even matchup. <laughs> oh, and the quick walls. Lots of the things to think about here. But no, 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 Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. But he's forward as well, you know, so you have to divide your focus somehow. But now the men at arms are in this woodland. Okay. Even a spear. And, but his scouts are... I feel like the key mo the key here is to scout out the stone and deny him the stone. And HA has been all around his base and couldn't, uh, still hasn't found the stone. And he's losing villagers in the woodland, unfortunately. But the towers are doing some work as well. But HA is down to 25 villagers now, where Adolf is still 32. Lose another one. Yep. Yeah, and the four villagers are only just idling in, idling right now. But the resources are, yeah. Alolf is in a better spot, in that sense. I think there will be a tower drop again soon. Seems to be a quick series, indeed. I don't know if I agree with this. With the uh, villagers. I mean, he wants to get rid of this, of course, but... Ah, well, he got it down. Yeah. Fair enough. But he could have also actually put his scout home. And probably he hasn't found a little stone, and I believe that's <clears throat> a very important uh, thing to deny. Now it's uh, kind of too See late because the it's mine so much. Yes! Already. He saw it. Yeah. And now he no, at least knows no about the stone, down. so he can uh, prevent further stone in combat. But the wolf still has enough for two more towers. But HA is down, down 8 villagers. He is, of course, uh, causing some idle time here. Maybe getting some pickups here now. Are the wolf not garrisoning? Alright. Almost gets his scout, but there are lots of idle time. Here. Also, 5 villagers still still in his um, defensive tower yep. he could use. 
So it's uh, they're idling their ass off. Twenty four idols for a little now. So you draw by uh, H A, giving it. Uh... But now the scouts will go down. Oh, it uh, targets the spear actually, and the builds will finish the spear. So if you can uh, use the scouts somehow to lure the villager into villagers into tower fire, you get some kills there as well. And all the world is now forced yep. back from H A's base as well. So maybe H A will come. Uh, uh, decent out of this. He has less idols now, even though he has less villagers as well. He has uh, more military here because he has two military, and he's a uh, villager fighting here, pulling uh, all those <laughs> villagers into tower fight. If he focuses the tower now, he will get some kills. Ah, uh, oh, almost. But no. now, now the builder is going for from. One it in, yes. Ah, he gets a wall up. Nice. <laughs> But then all of us tries to wall in the wallers. But he's walling in himself! <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> if he targeted the tower fire now, this uh, would. Uh... Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Blue Wilder is now going to a uh, tower on the other side of HJ's woodland now. So he might effectively de deny him of uh, wood, but uh, Adolf is denied of gold. So. Um, he's making another tower, I think, yeah, in the will. wood line. <laughs> Man, what the mess. this game style is so AIDS. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what a shit show. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to agree. <laughs> Just idling forward here, and I'll go. He could even tower HJ Stone if he, yeah, he knows about it. Another forward house, because why not? <laughs> Worst part, it's working. <laughs> he might finish up HJ's last four wheels now. Denying this tower, still has access to his own stone. Yeah, the time from he has more idols than uh, HA. Is this game ever gonna see Castle Age? <laughs> so low resources for both. <clears throat> Probably don't, not. Don't walk into the tower fire, man. Taking a build fight, even though he is one nil uh, down and has like less HP. Two more towers from Adam Wolf here. <laughs> Confused, they both think they're Incas. Yeah. This is a very well hidden Inca mirror match. HJ now stonewalling his home base. What is that tower by Adwolf? I mean, it can't reach anything now, but maybe if he gets uh, fletching or something, but it doesn't quite make sense. Doesn't he has it, have it? Yeah, in that case, I don't understand these towers at all. Maybe just for the later. Uh... Oh, he has no fletching, right? No. Maybe just to misjudge the distance. But he kind of stabilizes. He has the build lead, he has the population lead. He has three military, is it even a uh, spearman? I think it's almost more interesting to have. Uh... Resource count up now. It looks like all wolf is slightly or much closer to picking up Castle Age. Is he abusing a market? Yes, he is. So he will, in fact, reach Castle Age very soon or take Castle Age. Now, villagers spawn for even more towers here on the woodland. Oof, so 
so frustrating just to watch. <laughs> and he doesn't know about the towers outside the woodland as well, so they will be annoying when he gets further into the woodland. She would have helped, yeah, it's true. So it's market stable for HG yeah, now when he's up as well, he's 40% uh, behind, that's actually not too bad. Okay. Other wolf now taking stone next to HA space as well. Okay. So you're going to uh, continue with Krepos and then uh, Castle H. Mm, probably, yeah. yeah. So I'll rush into Krepos first. She tries to gate on the left hand side, but the tower reaches the villager anyway. I think because he has fletching now. Yep. Yep. So finally, the two towers here are paying off. is in the wall at all, so if HJ can get to knights, he can do some serious damage in his home base. At the very least. He can't reach it. <laughs> he needs fletching. Yeah. Now he makes it. Huh. Huh. What a mess. HK looks to have the stronger economy though, but he will be crepost dropped somewhere. Let's see how the wolf's point of view. There it is, on the woodline again, so bye bye woodline. Unless uh, HK can deny it somehow. Is he sending builders out to fight this? No, oh, it's splitting castles, Frank castles, of course. Good play, <laughs> good play. Maybe the ones if you're in Krepos or Krepos Rush. Hurry up. Yeah, but Krepos aren't that. Uh, it has lots of builds building here, but. Okay, maybe it needs even more builders to build the castle. But it will go up, I think. Still. We're going a lot of villagers down here. Yeah, unfortunately. HJ is only... or only... All things considered, there is only 7 villagers behind. And he's moving out now somewhere. If he's going for his own gold, he probably can't because... We can crepost this there, but... Let's see where he's headed. He's teasing the wood. Man! I'm feeling so annoyed by other wolf, but I'm not playing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> wow, it's is just, this uh, annoying? It feels like this shouldn't work, right? <laughs> yeah, and you know, taking resources who aren't his. Yeah. I don't mind the DC move though, because uh, now HJ has a uh, safe woodland again. But now Elwolf is uh, planning to drop a castle next to his DC. Uh, but HJ has throwing Axeman out, so now he should be able to pick off the villagers that are backing off from the castle. <laughs> so let's see what the plan is here. So it will be Axman versus Comix here. It's it's probably probably I'm for, taking uh, a castle in his face. Yeah, but he's got the... No. Taking the uh, stone. Yeah, looks like he, he probably needs a slightly bit, slight bit more stone first. 
But if you TC his uh, other wolves, uh, 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 if you oh. cast some wolves TC here, and he will, I think. Oh, why not? But why not? Why not on the first placement there? You could deny both the wood line and the gold. Now he only denies uh, the gold and the TC. And all the wolves cast on both golds here is going up. That's a ridiculous cast. It's just total control over both golds here now. <laughs> what a game! Axeman? Axeman? Hello? Is it a build fight? No, it's a tank tower. Okay, that tower might go up. I think you need to target the builders with their conconics. Yeah, the castle will go up here, I think. Axeman going down, castle going up. Don't tell me uh, other wolf is going to deny this castle. 95, 96. <sighs> oh man. 98. Oh, he's up. <laughs> oh man. And bad, bad thing, the only castle that builds and builds and comics. <laughs> what the heck is this? What the fuck? <laughs> this game. <laughs> uh, it's the strangest series. This beats even my cell games. Axeman coming in now. So the villagers won't be allowed to attack anymore. What? Stay on the TC fire. Move, 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 move. Good. So HJ. Yeah, but does he really care about his gold? I mean, he's taking gold of HJ. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. He's uh, kind of denying gold from a wolf, but then he's, he's not denying. But now <laughs> HJ is TCing a wolf wood line. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a base trade or what's going on? <laughs> and even the, the town center, yeah, there's nothing Adam inside. Is almost imp. He's half an imp. Oh. And that's the... Yeah, wow. so then he can produce traps near HA's main base, but he will lose his home base, I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> And also going at imp now, it uh, really hurts uh, his economy and production, so... Mm, yeah. Not that he has had any source of production, but... It means he can't produce if he needs it, either. <laughs> so stupid. Why are you wasting throwing x here? Add some siege, man. Buy some wood, get some siege or something. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He's going for more gas drops. And imp is in. One, no, one and a quarter TC imp. And another castle drop from HJ. Oh, he changes his mind. He's dropping uh, the, the other TC of Adolf instead. So he's denying gold and wood, but he's not denying gold because Alwolf is taking gold next to HJ's uh, gold spots. <laughs> Immediately one trebuchet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. And that uh, castle of HJ is almost, almost dead already. So. Forcing a defensive tower here. This might be a doubt castle actually. I will get it up. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, yeah, so. Only? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not playing this with a frustrating piece of stuff. It's actually turning the TC now. And then you can turn the walls and 
He could go in and uh, make some cripples or something, I guess. Oh, he doesn't have a stone for it. HJ with builder lead low is, uh, is this item and builders? But more idols, so it evens out. And now, <laughs> the TC, he just uh, broke his building a TC on his own in the woodland here. Now we should take the gold off other wolf. Yeah. Fair trade. <laughs> <coughs> And he still has uh, gold in his home base, actually. Great shape. So he will take the gold in uh, all of space. Otto can make, can make comics, but he doesn't have the eco to support it yet. So he needs, but he's getting farming eco up, and uh, I guess it will happen sooner or later. Yeah, he's putting out a few comics, but... <laughs> Eco, indeed. No rams for... Where are these guys going? Well, you can't attack with rams. Because of uh, throwing x men they deal melee damage, so... Yeah. Ish is trying to escape somewhere, I guess, I think. Maybe going to the woodland to the side here. But uh, he's intercepted by other wolves villagers. <laughs> Are they both going for the same plan here, or what's the play? Well, Ish is going for a long camp, and uh, other wolf is going for a stone, so yeah, why not? And the ramps come here, but uh, X-Men got this. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Are you watching the Desert Cup match? <laughs> this is gonna well, be. Well, villages, uh, villages against Conic will not work. <laughs> what do you say, Wotok? This is gonna be an interesting one. Yeah. It's uh, very much back and forth. But they is uh, trying to escape and reboom with his villagers in all directions now, I think. So, pretty crazy. Wow, what is happening? <laughs> Holy Christ. Holy Christ. <laughs> what is he doing? Where what is it? Who started where? <laughs> it's impossible to see. Yeah. <laughs> it's our wolf, man. <laughs> oh, shit. That he's actually in a good position. Hey, she has a lot of military now that's throwing Axman on him. So we get some raids in. Oh, Hoya yeah, is having a hard time now. If I, if I was uh, oh yeah, I don't think I would want a game 3, honestly, but he's uh, holding on and getting some pushes in here. Why don't you want a game 3? <laughs> because the first game was just as messy. <laughs> but it's like, a, it's, would... like a, it's like a rat nibbling on your testicles. Uh, yeah. That annoying. <laughs> It's like the it's like the douche <laughs> douching the douche with a douche. Yeah. Towers and castles. Actually, no creposts. Yeah, one crepost. That's true. Towers, castles, creposts, conics. Why not more crepost? They are stuff. so good. <laughs> good question. Why why even bother to make more castles? But of course, you need one castle. But. Yeah, he's making a castle now. Hadouf. Another one? <laughs> he's gonna take the uh, the castle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. HJ um, population is better because it's good. He's, he's running out and he's preserving his stuff. And he's taking all the space, so he's actually regaining some ground and gold control. What a mess of a game. So Max Fan. But still somehow... Weapons. Somehow HJ actually are doing damage. Yep. It's, uh, 
pretty crazy. And also he has the largest military by far. He has 32 military, although he only has 7. Yeah. But of course he won't be reaching uh, in anytime soon because he doesn't have food or gold or... No, no, no. So he needs to play this in Castellation, but he must know that other wolves eco is pretty much in the same spot. So, but all wolf has traps access, HDM is not. <laughs> and again, all wolf can't, the key. can't afford military to defend his traps, so he, if he goes and going to take it down HDM's <laughs> castles, he will need the uh, curb posts or castles to defend his traps. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, no. Can we fast forward this? No, it's light. <laughs> so much happening, but HA is rebooting. Why did HA make a castle here on the side? Uh, in, in, in the south? He wants to wood reboot, but the TC spot I don't get at all. Uh, that's why. It's a farm TC. Farming TC, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, but don't you want to like have the castle in front of your TC? I mean, but l look at the score. The score is not that far away. No, so... no, no. This is not over. This is going to be a long Ooh. game. Kong says TC protects castle. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Logic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he really needs him, though. But he's... Too busy rebooming for now. <clears throat> yeah, but then this uh, eco should be uh, growing a lot stronger. I think HS will, will uh, count on Adal. It's uh, 60, 64. Oh. Okay, so it's not. This not is gonna shift. Apart, but. Uh... No, no, this is gonna shift. How many TCs does, does Adal have? Uh, one, two, three, I think, and some farms. But he doesn't really have the mobility to raid now, right? He's only making castles and towers. Is he rebuilding? Yeah, a little bit. He has some farms here and there, but... Uh, he, he isn't making any village. And he's also not making any village. He's getting called Scription, though, so he needs to <laughs> make army at some point. Yeah. But HJ, you can click him soon. He's uh, only missing the gold now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or hmm. let's say he's doing like that. Other wolf is always placing a castle or a creep post, and then puts his um, puts his trebuchets down there. So HJ can't kill it. What an annoying shit. <laughs> yeah, but the the imp is coming now from uh, HJ. That's yeah. gonna be really important here. He can yeah. lose a castle, that's so fine. Well, as long as he gets imp and can get some trebuchet. But does he can't have any castle to produce uh, trebuchets from? The eye is still in the south. Does he have that's one. The only one? But he's adding more TCs. He yeah. will take yeah, yeah. the Ecoli, this uh, six villagers ahead now. Will treat them in count well. That's the fifth. Fifth TC. Yeah. So that's. That's kind of. Yeah, he lost one, right. One way to get back into it to produce from more TCs at the same time. So that's good. Now their eco looks. Uh, I almost got up the castle in the south. Is he placing it now, or what's? Going? Does he know uh, about no, no, red look, in the look, south? Look, look. He yeah. will. He will Kerpost. put a castle there. Yeah, he does. Yeah. As I said. Kerpost. Yes, I freaking said. Where? Oh, come on, come on, come on! Can he? Oh. Would be so epic if he denied the crapples with his villagers. <laughs> then he would have been super lucky. Like the fast. other side of the map, but they're doing damage there as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is he Spanish and doing supremacy villagers? So what? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... This is only army. It's HA, yeah. It's only army, Watsuk, so <laughs> they have to make the best of it. Yeah, he's rushing a castle with villagers. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he did it earlier as well. It didn't work very well out for him. The X Men came and saved the day. Hit him. Yep, there's the imp. How's the villager count now? It's 80s. Uh, our office had with uh, 15, actually. <laughs> 15 minutes. 
Make traps. Mm. In the production. Okay, Adal is producing more, but he yeah, got H five. HJ needs to make traps before. Yeah, he's getting conscripted first. That's actually also an important tech to match the potential of Adal's yeah, But he's gonna lose that castle. He's gonna die to this crap host. Not if he goes close. Yeah, yeah, he got close to the lost two on the way though. Yeah. Don't attack the creep host, attack! <laughs> That's the trend, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we can't afford a new castle, so there won't be any traps for HA. But he I does have equal to. Uh, castle. Now we could add. Uh, no. Yeah, he's adding rams mm. on the other side, cap traps. That's a good. And if one Axeman here can deny this castle, I'm very, very impressed. <laughs> oh! Take him one little time. Go on. Go on. No, oh, no, you no, gotta no. Attack the toggle builders. the will. Attack the builders! Ah, oh, it's too bad. Okay, he's not really migrating this, I guess. He's just staying around. He gets a lot of value from that Axeman. Yes, yeah, so three builds for one Axeman. But now the traps from other wolves come in this direction. What a crazy, crazy game. <sighs> this looks bad for HD. No. So the award for the most annoying play <laughs> goes to Adelwolf. And it's exactly as I said. He builds a castle everywhere, or a creep post, everywhere he's... Uh... Why is he's he attacking there? He's just locking down all the resources. He's so smart. So, so uh, Cap traps here going for Adelwolf's castle. But now he has so many comics, he can actually get the ramps, I think. Yeah, the... The Conix is gonna kill the Axe Waves. And he's repairing as well, so that's uh, <coughs> impressive that yeah, he yeah. can hold this. This is gonna be the GG. Uh, it's okay. 100%. It's just uh, something about uh, how Adolf's eco has uh, finally stabilized so we can make army as well. At the uh, low point there, while HJ was going for it, he was the only one with army and with the means to produce, but... Yeah, he didn't know that. But I think he cleaned up a lot of the comics here with the... only the garrison, never mind. Uh, military count is another one's favorite now, 20 to 13, means HJ has lost all his X-Men somewhere. But he's holding on. This is GG now. He's losing every front. Yeah, why he can't take gold there? There's a castle. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This uh, is the score, it. and this is GG. Yep. GG. So, yeah. comes down to 2 0 for Adolf. This is the best, best of 5, right? Best of 3. In the group stage. Best of 3, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a messy one. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. What What do you think about the matchup between Adal and HJ? I didn't Is it like super similar, or do who do you think without like thinking about these matches? Who Who has the peak normally? In team games, it's definitely HJ. It's, uh, he's just such an amazing team player, but he doesn't really enjoy one on ones that much. And in that sense, on Wolf, he likes one on ones better. I think he is potentially mm -hmm. a better one on one player in the end. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he's just being constantly aggressive and annoying, and it pays off on open maps like this. Well, it's difficult to walk, but. <laughs> Adal is really good. That's true. Must be so frustrating to play against. What an annoying mess. Oh. <laughs> See, KD, largest army, it's pretty similar here. Economy. But... Are they just finished? Yeah, this was the second match, so they finished. Yeah, they just played it, right? Yeah, it's light, yeah. Maybe try to get the players inside here and have a comment. Yeah, absolutely. If they want to. 
sure Adolf will be happy too. I'm not too sure about the exchanges. No, <laughs> not after a loss. Could be, but uh, I'll tag them in Discord and see if there's any interest. Or Nogi. It is Mr. Vatsok indeed. We have some interesting questions to them. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, leave the interview to you then. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but as you see, it went up and down. Like. Yep. It's yeah. certainly an even matchup, it seems, because yeah, players yeah. know how to attack and defend and what decisions to make. But the only problem is that Adal is such a <laughs> such such a spot in the ass, you know. <laughs> yeah. Such... I'm a what in the ass? <laughs> such a spot. Can be asshole. Oh, he's here. So like like the the, oh. the the yellow spot that you can't really reach and. Squeeze out, you know. <laughs> yellow spot. Yellow spot. Yeah. Oh, wow. I have no idea what you're referring to. A spot? Isn't that like a quiz? Yeah, who knows? Oh. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want so if you have a spot in the ass that you can't reach, and you can't get it out, and it's just annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The just match. building towers just... around you. First oh. and foremost. Congratulations, Adolf. Well played, well played. Oh, thank you, thank you. Playing uh, my strengths, sir. Being an annoying bastard. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. It's, it's nice to see you putting HJ back in his place. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, like, you have to do that. No. <laughs> okay. I, I hope he's watching and not angry. I think he's of fine. course not. He's actually he didn't actually sign up Can't for the tournament in the first place. Uh, it's his tournament. He's arranging it, but uh, because one player uh, couldn't play after all, then he took his spot. So actually, he's uh, playing the spot which was the Ant Man's originally. So, mm. but okay. I don't think these games were so messy. I don't <laughs> even know where to begin. But uh, we oh. can talk about the last game since I just remember it. You deleted your oh, gold sure. mining cap to go to stone instead before going to. Uh, yes. Yeah. So you. And we looked at your scouting and we see you saw that you didn't even know where HJ was. No, I didn't. So that seemed uh, risky. <laughs> yes. It was risky. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought I'd do something fun. And then I realized uh, for you, Bulgarians, you get the free minute on upgrade, you know? Yeah. So sure. then I, I thought maybe I didn't need the gold mine, but I still needed the 10 gold that I forgot about. Yeah. So uh, did you know, by the way, that I think one special weak point for HJ is, in fact, tower rushing. I think he hates being tower rushed, in fact. So was that the basis of yeah. the decision as well, or just... And um, well, I think most people hate being tow rushed. Yeah. And I really enjoy tow rushing. <laughs> tow rushing, yeah. So yeah, it works for me. So yeah, he held on for a long while there, but uh, when you finally stabilized your economy, then it was your game to win for sure. So you know, of course you didn't allow him to get back into it either, but yeah, it was <laughs> really hard to follow. It was yeah. just attacking, counter attacking, and base trading and. But maybe it's better to ask how you. better to ask how you felt about this game and the set as a whole. Uh, if you have anything you want to uh, say. Well, the first game I'm super happy about. This one was a bit messier than I would have liked. I mean, I don't mind messy games, but I could have organized uh, my economy better. Yeah, it was very back and forth. Yes, it seems. 
Yeah, because yeah. AJ actually had uh, a big advantage at that point there. Yeah. And uh, w- one of my questions is, um, uh, I see you not building in that many crate balls. No. Uh, don't you like them or? I do, but I, I like trebuchets more. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Yes. And because I, I can't go of rams course. because he has X-Men. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that's basically the only reason, really. And you actually did that, what I what I was saying uh, before you did that. I was saying, oh, he's going to plant a castle everywhere, and then he moves in with his trebuchet so they are safe for the from the thro- throwing X-Men. And that's actually exactly what you did. Yeah. You placed the castle yeah. and then <laughs> placed the two trebuchets down there and shut. Uh, that's annoying stuff, man. I yeah, think... Also- uh, what 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 you achieved at least uh, in this tournament is that HJ won't play you for a long while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is uh, that uh, <laughs> salty about it. Oh, no. I think it's uh, perfectly perfectly fine me. Yeah. I mean, it's a way I to think, play, right? Yeah. It's not forbidden, so. Yeah, I think I'm not so good playing uh, conventional strategies like normally. Like the typical meta, so I think if he would beat me if I just play conventional way. Well, it sort of looks That's like uh, uh, certainly it looks that like is... Huang style is uh, Huang style is becoming your meta, but uh... <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, I'm uh, beginning to perfect it a little so that bit. Was, uh, I think also it was the rate to play against a player like H. Davis. Sometimes, of course, not always, but he's kind of bound by the meta and the typical build orders. He. Uh, Constantly bans Nomad, among other things, for that reason, I think. Mm. So it seems to work out very well for him because it disrupts the early, early build with suddenly having to deal I with see. seven militia. Yeah. So that's just my theory. Seemed... Yeah, it seemed like he tried to adapt with the stone walls, but, uh, but that's... I don't think it would uh, slow me down too much no, with scout uh, manganals. And it's good by the time if he, he could uh, go castage earlier while uh, walling up fully. Yeah. Getting just a mass of uh, uh, crossbowmen that could have been away from him, but it's really tough when you're behind the three villagers. Yeah, that's true. And we were a little dis- disappointed as well that when your militia ran in towards his berries, that was exactly the space of one gate. To just completely trap them for a while. <laughs> and it was HJ's <laughs> chance, but he didn't take it <laughs> in the end. Uh, yeah, uh, I actually get uh, trapped a lot like that. But I, I don't <laughs> mind it. I didn't really mind it too much when uh, I got one because it's going to damage him anyway because uh, he has to repair yeah, and build behind it and still don't have idle time. So it's well, kind of a win win either yeah. way. That's exactly Even it. I was able to trap time. you one time. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, AR12 uh, asks if, uh, the, if we could ask you for a summary of your tournament uh, because I think you played all your games now. So oh, you yes. Something, something to say about that, like highlights and down points. Even. Yeah, I can go through like yeah, uh, set. I can go through the sets, like not every game, but just like yeah. uh-huh. let's see if I can find the challenge. There it is. Okay, so my first fight was this versus uh, Kong. Yeah. And yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with my games against Kong. Like, uh, I'm really happy to have at least one win against him. He is uh, our legend there, after all. Yeah, that's true. So... <laughs> he's he, he's yeah. the Kong? Yes, he's the Kong. He's the Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you get King the... Kong. You got your whole map again. Uh, that was actually the, 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 the Void game where you he was Persians and you were... Wasn't... Aztecs. 
Was it Aztecs? Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he went to uh, Pike and Siege against his base, and he was even Persian, so his thesis took forever to take down, but you managed to. That was also a very back and forth game, uh, really. Yeah. So, it was a really super messy game. Probably <laughs> one of the messiest games I played. So it was uh, funny and uh, frustrating. You say that fun. now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm usually not so good in late game, but I I managed to just keep the pressure going. So if I just keep um, the pressure up, I, I have a chance. What was the second game? Was it R12? No. It's JCB Kill. Uh, yeah, JCB Kill. Okay. It's probably the... Yeah, okay, it's not the one that I'm the most disappointed with, like in myself. SP is obviously a very good player, but I think he could have done way better there. Yep. He just did so many mistakes. Did you also pick Desert yeah. Void for that one, or do you remember what the maps were? Uh, yeah, I picked Desert Void there too, and I actually that's the one game that I won against JSP Kill. Yep. Let's see. I'm not the other sure. two were pretty horrible. But I saw JCP Kill uh, uh, playing a lot of games in the, in the Noob Cup and stuff, and I really liked his performance, so it's not a shame to, to lose against him. Uh, no. Oh, you're right. Really good player. That's true. I just think I should have played even messier than maybe. Because <laughs> he is like super... He's like a super nerd. He knows all the percentages and numbers and everything. Oh, okay. So it's... Ah, okay. I see. He uh, he really knows his stuff. Super organized. Okay. Yeah. And then air twelve rules. Please skip our set. Never happened. No, so. no. I'll go really <laughs> specific into this one. Of course. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, air twelve. <laughs> I'm gonna take my time with this one. I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. AR12. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I won the first one. I was two tons, and he was, uh, was he mains or, or Britons? He was uh, Britons on Desert Point, so uh, he was must have been something uh, else on game one, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he won the Desert Point uh, game as Britons, actually. <laughs> yeah, because my. Uh, Pike and Siege shit doesn't work against uh, Britons. Huang does, but I, I wasn't so much into Huanging back then, unfortunately. So the first game I was pretty happy with, and though I was I still wasted a lot of army. And the third last game was another super messy game at the Ive. I feel like I didn't deserve to win it because I played so super messy. I didn't get horse collar until the 50 minutes or yeah, something no. like that. Sorry, I get the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was Mongol Wars. I think I think we were both Mongols, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, I just went uh, five uh, five militias into Castledge, but I didn't manage to fully wall, so he managed to kill some. Builders early on, so it was kind of even almost. Mm -hmm. I was uh, slightly faster up to cast ledge, and I went forward with uh, seed workshop and archery range. But my early uh, tech advantage was uh, quickly. Uh, what's, it called? what's it called? Uh, crushed yeah. when I didn't pay attention and I lost my initiative. I lost my first like. Early cast late push that with I must one mangonel and um, like 20 crossbowmen to nothing. So, and I barely had any economy at home, so I just had to keep pressuring somehow, keep him off my base for most yeah. of the game. Yeah. yeah, it took a long while before we got the boom going, so he was actually yeah. in many senses yeah, he, ahead. I think he was. Yeah, I, I imagine he was way ahead economically. <laughs> and he was uh, 
I think he was fast up to him, Perlich. Yeah, I think so too, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was way behind the Perlich too, I think. Because he, he was chubbing my castle for like 15 minute, minutes or so. And I was like, <laughs> repairing, repairing, repairing. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know how much stone I used, but I, I, I kind of had the map control because I had him pushed in the corner. Had him busy with my castles. Yeah. So I had a little stone and gold all over. So I had no shortage of that, at least. Uh, that really just bought me time. I even tried to pull the the MBL uh, trick where he like writes in chat like advanced to the imperial age. <laughs> yeah, he but didn't... he didn't fall for it. <laughs> or actually, actually, yeah, he did follow his spirit, but he didn't resign at least. <laughs> or is that right, Ar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he writes. It's very tricky to. Uh, <laughs> Oh boy! Yeah. You, you you did right. Um, <laughs> advanced to imperial age. Yeah, I, I was super desperate. You know, you know when uh, when, when you write, when you type that, it's because you want the game to end because you feel like you won already, or it's because you're super far behind and you just hope to deceive him into. <laughs> yeah, so uh, and it was the latter that I I felt I was gonna lose so hard. So it was really a lot of desperation. Oh man! <laughs> crazy, yeah. crazy. Yeah, and my next uh, set was against the Double Book. It's another disappointing series. I can't really remember them. No, I me mean, neither, actually. So, I think I'm kind of confusing them with the. Eric Rabble book set, which was mm. probably, yeah, I think so, because I think you didn't play uh, that map uh, and play that map. Okay, yeah, but anyway, it was a 2-0 two, two set for Rabble book, so it was, yeah. Yeah. But then I'd rather just forget about this. <laughs> ah, forget the losses. Uh, but yes. uh, Eric, you then you took the first game against him, I see. So that's uh... yeah. I played super strong in the first game, but the, the later two I just uh, I, I don't think my head was straight. A few of these games, or mm -hmm. these sets, I mean, like sometimes I I win like all day. Other days I lose all day. Yeah. I think most of us can relate to when these things it happens. <laughs> yeah. I need to have the the right mood and the right strategies. So that yeah, I may say that was the one we already had, but then there was versus Yobi as well. Uh there you also got the yeah. home, home map win. Yobi I think uh I think Yobi plays very similar to me, at least in his games against myself, because he went for uh, like uh, Drush into Fast Feudal Age in, into Archers, yeah. which is something that I like to do a lot. So I was kind of surprised that he, he did that against me. And yeah, I was kind of unfortunate to pick Magyars against uh, Britons. And I don't know, I, I kind of messed it up. I, Ah, uh, yeah, that game was... Uh, yeah, yeah, remember. Yeah, I mean, it was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just... Not good. <laughs> In the first game, uh, I was Franks, he was Celts, and he and he did the... I think he went Drush Fast Castle into Pike and Siege, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like another thing that I like to do, or we <laughs> used to like to do before Wanging. So, so yeah, I, I didn't expect to face my own playstyle. Oh, no, exactly. Like, it's like you it really know. caught me. It really caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's a kryptonite to play. 
like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, but it's not a lot. I mean, it's obvious that with Celts you do sh shit like that, right? I mean, it's uh, so strong. Well, I might. I was kind of expecting like uh, man at arm towers. Because my uh, my gold and stone was very exposed in the front. I was also kind of clumped in between the woodlands, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense to go towers. But I didn't uh, scout him enough, so I didn't see it. Well, I did see his uh, barracks uh, with the flag, and so I knew that he was going to go for it. It's Red Rush or. Mm, yeah. yeah. I remember your gold spots were like. Like hell of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he somehow his militia got into my base, which was very, very bad for me. Like, uh, which On the left side. yeah, he must have gone past the town center, right? And I didn't pay attention. That could be, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I, I, I had that wall, and when I looked again, his militia were in my base. And they could only have come from that area. He could, he could only have come f through my town center. So <laughs> yeah, that was really nice. bad. Yeah. yeah, and you had one one hill behind um, your wood lines in the north, and he placed a, a sea truck shop there. And was pressuring from that side as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was not the most favorable map for you. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I should have done some uh, forwarding myself. Should have done. Should not have gone for knights at all. Like, yeah. should have gone for the throwing X Men. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, yes. easy to say after the game and uh, in the middle of everything. It's <laughs> you have it loud and then you need to right. adapt and yeah. yeah. It's a tough group you guys are in. That's, that has to be said. It's uh, all eight are strong players, so it should be interesting to see how it progresses and who moves forward. Yeah, I really Indeed. hope uh, I I won't be disqualified. I hope there will be more. That only uh, we'll have two wins <laughs> or less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want more. Yeah. But this is a, this is a really fun tournament. I think I'm really yeah. enjoying it. It's been very. Uh, Interesting games to view as well, so and to play. I'm playing myself as well, as well of course, and it's, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. we've got overall kind of uh, well-balanced groups, either wise, and get good matches. It's not like... I haven't yeah, seen I a lot of uh, steamrolling, uh, <laughs> in the sense, so... Which is good. Yeah, Eric is really going at it. Yeah, he's on fire, that's true. He's... Uh... <laughs> But, uh, Crazy. <laughs> so he didn't lose any sets yet, but at least he's lost yeah. matches, so he's not <laughs> unbeatable. <laughs> no, yeah, Adikud is actually the fifth best region player. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, I've seen uh, stats actually, so that's uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's the match checked, and I was right after him, number yeah. six. Let's see here. Let's see if that's still uh, still the case. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, and be on top because oh, Viper has the German flag. That uh, sneaky guy. <laughs> <laughs> can learn a room by cock. That's uh, some kind of. Uh, I don't think you can count my cock with him because I think he's uh, an American who has chosen the Norwegian flag for some reason. Oh, yes, yeah, US. Really? Okay, so let's disqualify him. This one is MBL one Keller two. On Jai, that's uh, Gluttony, this means number three, and then there's Plogen yep. and Erikur. So you're right, Erikur is number five, and Alvolf's just right behind with 11 points behind on this. But this is yeah. uh, stats from uh, May. Yeah. June, early June, May. Okay, maybe it's not that, that too, too far behind. I think Kong, Ravelbuk, and uh, Yobi would be higher up if they just played more. Yeah, more absolutely. Only. Uh, they, I think they're like really good, but they don't play so much. So Yobi has quite great. good games, mm -hmm. uh, of course, to compare, but uh, Kong and Rabobook are certainly up there as well. 
yeah. But I think these players as well, they are not Norwegian. Let's see the flags. Well, it says, okay, the list might be this, uh, this uh, Chinese ish characters. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's not just this complete. I obviously know Digar as well, actually, he's ranked number 12, but he's also a very good player. And yeah. Many names that could be higher up here. Yeah. Oh, a prediction. Hmm. Yeah. That, let's see. I think either Kong or Erikur will uh, win the qualification, at least. Mm -hmm. I think either uh, Erikur or Kong will win the qualification. Because this is just a qualification, right? That's true. It's the top four of each group phase of for semifinals and final in the end. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, top four. Okay, then I'm already out. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Can I do um... Reese? <laughs> you have to ask HJ about that, but you probably shouldn't ask today. <laughs> Okay. Maybe you can do some games in Group B. I heard they didn't play a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Switch me over to B. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we just need to disqualify the guys with fewest games in Group B. And well, no, it doesn't work like that. But <laughs> Unfortunately not. No. Mm -hmm. Look at Leo Rising. Only one game, one match. I think he's playing Tiger tomorrow, possibly. Nice. Uh, well, I just want to go tiger. Mash I just want to say thank you for the for the interview. I went a little bit back and forth there. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, good. Uh, very nice matchup and a fun match to watch. The last one against AJ. Oh, thank you, Mister Votsok. Thank you. <laughs> Is that your name? How you say it? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. not my name, it's but it's my nick <laughs> at least. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, AR no 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 re for you AR I mean I mean <laughs> guys that I lost to <laughs> well, well thank you I, I gotta leave now so yes Thanks see you around me. guys have a good well. match go well, well. might conclude the stream there as well but tomorrow there will be some G group G B G matches see possibly. you around guys yeah GG well, thanks for joining in for the interview and everything thanks for watching people my pleasure. We'll have more matches tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Bye-bye. So, All right.